Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG and GM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, baby. I'm a little tired of this. That's just in the house, man. You know, Streets Gang, we are here, man. We just got off the stream, the live stream, watching and commenting the 5v5 Queensberry vs. Match Room, where they got a clean sweep. That was crazy, man. I ain't just... <laughs> we gonna talk about that a little later, though. We gonna, we gonna do that with the Brock. I gotta break down every fight. But uh, right now, though, you know I had to drop this information on y'all, man. Arthur Betterbev and Dimitri Bivol. Arthur Betterbev and Dimitri Bivol, you know, has been announced and has been rescheduled officially for October 12th, right? October 12th is what it's going to be. So that's in a couple months, you know what I'm saying? But, but what part is crazy because this is June, right? So that's in four months, right? So think about this, man. Arthur Betterbev just got injured. In May, last month, you know what I'm saying? I believe May 3rd to add some specificity to the particular date. And he's in his 40s. Damn. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's just 40. And he had these crazy allegations before. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think they're true. I think Archer better be a clean fighter because he has never been found to be guilty of anything. So I, th I think that these tests and due process are very important. I don't think so. But a lot of people think so. There's a lot of speculation that uh, Archer better be a, he, he gets injured conveniently at a time that he's about to fight so he can go and <laughs> clean the system of the PEDs and <laughs> the bad substances. I think, bro, people just love conspiracy theories. I'm not saying it's right. I don't think it's right. I'm saying, in fact, I'm saying it's the opposite. I don't think it's right. But when you think about it, he had a ruptured meniscus. That's a serious injury, man. And to think that you're going to fight <laughs> potentially five months later after the time that you sustained the injury, which postponed your fight, which postponed, postponed it, dang, which postponed your fight with Bivol in the first place, and you're going to fight him in five months' time since your injury, like... You know, now there's different severity levels of a ruptured meniscus. Of course, we don't know how severe it was. At least I don't know. Maybe you y'all know, but I don't know how severe it was. I didn't look into it. But it just it just seems a little crazy. That seems a little fast to me. You know what I'm saying? Like even with Tim Zoo, when Tim Zoo and Virgil Ortiz was announced, I was like, man, that seems a little soon for him to be fighting in August after he just sustained that deep gash. I don't know if it has healed fully or effectively, and sure enough, it got called off. So my point is that I don't really want my biggest concern is that it's Archer better be if a Dimitri Bivol will be called off again. You know, I don't think he's cheating, but I do think it's funny because the conspiracy theorists are going to have a heyday with this one. But yeah, so, so far, it's been announced after Dimitri Bivol beat Malik Zanad that Arthur Benabia versus Dimitri Bivol for the Undisputed Light Heavyweight Championship has been rescheduled for October 12th. Shout out to Turkey Al Seek. And uh, yeah, man, appreciate your argument as always. Be prepared for the breakdown tomorrow because the sweep is crazy by Frank Warren and Queensberry. That's wild. But y'all be easy. God bless. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We are nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.